everybody. Or is it still good afternoon? Good afternoon? In Europe, I would have to say good night already, but we're not finishing yet. Thanks, everybody, for coming. It's a real pleasure for me to be here in uh, Texas. It's my first time, my first visit ever to Texas, which is even more exciting. And it's a great treat to be in this festival among such uh, distinguished virtuoso and players. Um, I would like to thank Mr. Lu uh, Professor Lu for being such a great host. And um, so we started the program with the prelude by Glier, and then we went on to the sonata by Hertel. Franciszek Hertel was a Czech bass player, and uh, it is one of my most beloved composition in that little corner of the chamber music repertoire for bass and piano. And we have a little order change in the program because we're going to play now the piece by Ernst Bloch. Um, and uh, it was written originally for cello uh, and piano. It's the first movement of the suite uh, that is called From Jewish Life, as most or a greater part of music of Bloch is Jewish influenced. And this first movement is called a prayer. So I hope you enjoy it.
almost seven year old stay, seven year long, I should say, stay in the Netherlands is my collaboration with a Dutch composer whose name is Hiel Meyering, in case you cannot read it. And uh, a piece that he wrote for me in 2011, uh, I performed it first in 2012 actually, I premiered in Amsterdam and I also had a great pleasure of performing this last year on the ISB convention in Rochester, which was actually the US premiere, so actually today is the second US premiere. Um, and um, the title is interesting and there are two stories I want to tell you. The first one is that I actually didn't know as a non-English non native speaker what the workout is because I, I thought workout is like a sort, sort of a result or something, which would be the result of his work because he works extremely quickly. And um, only after the first performance, I found out that actually the meaning of this word, or maybe the different meaning, is a strict from the fitness trainer's language. And now I know why the piece is called like that, because <laughs> it, is, it is a really physical experience, I think, to watch and, first of all, for me, to play this piece. It is very virtuosic. Uh, Hill Meiring is, uh, he's actually turning 60 this year, but he's still considered to be the young generation composer in the Netherlands. Uh, and he's certainly, um, in my opinion, one of the uh, most interesting and less, uh, least conservative and traditional contemporary composers in, uh, probably in the world, not just in Europe or the Netherlands. And he never, um, he's never hiding the fact that actually his first fascination uh, as a youngster was the, the pop and rock music of that time, rather than classical music that came after that. And this is clearly to be heard in his music. And uh, of course we worked together. And just to give you an idea how um, my own ideas about peace can relate to composer's ideas, there's a, it, the piece has two movements, right? And the second movement starts with me streaming nicely the pizzicato chords on the bass, and Ivan is playing a cascades of arpeggios, which sounds very nice, beautiful harmonies. So I had this vision of where did he took this from? And I thought, oh, probably from some fantastic sort of science fiction movie. In Europe, we watch those American movies where there's a beautiful landscape in front of you. And, and so I told this to him because we, we worked together, I thought before, before the second performance would be nice to say something to the others about composer's idea. So I say, look, uh, I think maybe you, you took this bit from the DC or maybe some science fiction. So, and she said, no, that actually was from Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> so find something for yourself, whatever you like. And I hope you enjoy the ultimate workout of Hill <laughs> Thank you. 
So the last piece, I think, doesn't need introduction, since there are so many bass players here. Great piece by Frank Proto, and this, these are variations on the famous Paganini Caprice. And uh, the piece has a few surprises. <laughs>
back one. Yes. Hey, so don't I need my face, okay? <laughs> so this is gonna be a bit more of Frank Proto. And I think it, it has been played here already this, this weekend. It's from his Carmen Fantasy, and it's the third movement is Nocturne, and it's actually Michaela's aria from Bizet's opera that he very nicely arranged. Uh, unfortunately, Frank is not here tonight, but uh, Frank, if you're watching us, it's for you. Mm -hmm. 